I have accidentally sent out emails to about 20 or 30 people that have emailed me in the past because I've set up this stupid ticketing solution. It's a disaster. Lots of stuff going on in this video. <laughs> Let's get started. I've been working on trying to figure out how to create a ticketing system for my data center services, which I will explain more in a little bit. Um, but I'm trying to essentially start up some kind of ticketing solution. That way, when somebody emails in, it creates a ticket. I can keep track of all of it. Um, my inbox is so full of emails at this point, and I need to respond to all of them. Um, but I want to separate the data center ones because I want to be able to respond to those um, as quickly as possible. With that being said, um, I have completely screwed a lot of things up at this point, and I have tried um, UV Desk, which is a self-hosted ticketing solution. The problem with UV Desk is it is a pain in the butt to get fired up. So I'll show you this here. We've got the system requirements. I'm not passing any of the requirements. I finally was able to get it installed um, through Docker and stuff. Um, but it had this stupid menu bar thing at the bottom emails wouldn't send I'm telling you guys it was just a complete complete joke. Um, I have found zap Zamond Zamad Z A M M A D. I'm currently using that as my ticketing software. First of all, we have a few issues. Um, let's back up. Basically what happened is um, I have accidentally sent out these emails to people because I've linked uh, Zamond to my um, Gmail account my beam networks Gmail account. I've linked that because forward email, which is my email provider, um, they have for some reason been blocking my emails and they're flagging it um, as a newsletter. So I'm not obviously sending newsletters and I don't know why you need additional verification for that. That's a topic for another video. Um, but I can say that it is driving me crazy. So let's take a look over here at forward email on the logs. You guys will see we have newsletter usage is not yet approved for your account. Please wait for approval or contact us for support. I have not requested newsletter approval. I don't even know what the heck newsletter approval is. I would assume it's something to allow marketing or something on your account for you to send like promotional emails. I have no idea. Um, all I know is I don't want to be sending newsletters and I don't know why these are getting flagged as newsletter emails. Um, but in the meantime, my smart brain was like, um, okay, time to connect this to my Gmail account for now. I want to connect this to my Gmail account because that was the stupidest idea I've ever had. Um, I've connected that to my Gmail account and then I went to the send email logs because uh, I saw it was making a lot of tickets for old emails. I was like, oh no. So I checked my send logs on Gmail and it was sending out emails to people that I've uh, talked to about YouTube sponsorships, people, I mean, all those kinds of things. What a disaster. So I have shut the virtual machine down. We are at a state where the VM is off, not connected. And it is just a matter of figuring out how to safely boot it back up turn off some kind of setting that's going to do this. All that to say, let's get started. So I don't really know. There's a few potential solutions I have in my mind of how we can fix this. First of all, we could block it from the DNS server. Um, the only issue with that, though, is I have zero idea what the DNS server actually is on that network. Um, another solution would be I could do somehow block its internet traffic entirely or rate limit the speed down to like one kilobyte per second. I think I may just have to disconnect the network adapter on Proxmox and log myself in. Okay, so let's pull up Proxmox here. We're now booting the VM. That is a wonderful start. Um, and now I'm scared. So I really want to make sure this does not fail. So the solution to this was in fact, editing the host file and removing the Gmail servers from there, or I guess routing them to somewhere stupid. Uh, I'm now removing them and we are going to see if it does not send the emails after I remove them. So I think at this time we are good to go. I just checked the logs and everything looks fine. We do have a ton of open tickets at this point. I apologize for the interruption here, but the narration that I was doing at the time of recording was completely stupid, in my opinion. Um, I'm editing this now, and it's like, what was I even saying? Anyways, we have gotten to the point now where we are testing the software. Um, essentially, what I want to happen is when somebody emails us, I want it to automatically create a ticket. So I think we are almost there to that point, and I'm so glad that we are finally here. Um, I have done some additional software testing after recording the video and it's been phenomenal so far i really do like the software and i'm going to show you a few more clips of the setup process and kind of me walking through it but i really do like the software a lot better than uv desk so okay we have just received the ticket in here um it is showing contact at beamnetworks.dev um, as the email address but it's actually pulling in the correct um the correct uh, email because the reply to flag uh, from the email I just sent is actually set to this email. So this video is probably a complete disaster to watch. It was a complete disaster to make. Um, it's now 1.54 p.m. I've been working on this for probably five hours, but it is working and that is really cool. So the next steps, um, if you are a Beam Networks cloud user, you can now email support at beamnetworks.cloud. It'll make a ticket. It'll follow the whole process for me nicely. And I will be able to keep track of all of the tickets. 
and keep track of historical users requests and all that kind of things as well so that's really cool really excited about this and if you guys have questions comments concerns let me know uh you should check out my data center offerings now it's at beamnetworks.cloud um, but that is all i have for this video guys so thank you so much for bearing with me through this have a great day i'll see you all in the next video